Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a Corp Survivor Number no. Blue. Now, this is a play on the original Corp Survivor Number no. Two. Now, in the 1980s and 90s, this cocktail was incredibly popular up until around 2007 when Jacob Breyers from Queenstown, New Zealand, decided to make a joke of the cocktail. He decided to make it blue. And at this time, there were Facebook groups saying, ah, get rid of the blue cocktail. But the joke is on them because this cocktail is still around and it's still popular. Now there are five ingredients to this and you have to start with a little bit of fresh lemon juice. You can't go wrong with that. But you need also a dry style gin. I'm using Heyman's dry gin. It is 41.2% ABV. You also need an aromatized wine. In this case, I'm using the Le Blanc. Now this is 17% ABV. Your next ingredient, which makes this blue itself, is a little bit of blue curacao. I'm using McGinnis brand. It is 15% ABV. And our final ingredient that we need for this is absinthe. Now I'm using Lucid, which is actually produced in the French style, and it is 62% ABV. So you know what? This is a shaken cocktail. So grab your shaking glass, put it off to the side so it's ready, and grab yourself a Y peeler. Then grab your lemon, and what we'll do is peel off a swath for our garnish, and then we'll cut this in half and squeeze out one ounce or 30 milliliters into the glass. Your next ingredient is a little bit of a dry gin. Now I did say use Heyman's, but you can use whatever it is you want. Uh, just make sure it's in the dry style. And again, we'll use one ounce or 30 milliliters. The third ingredient that you're going to use is an aromatized wine. Now, I did say you could use Lillet, which I'm using now, but you could also use a dry vermouth, depending on what you have available to you. But you're going to use the same amount of one ounce or 30 milliliters. So we're looking really good now. Your next ingredient is the blue curacao. Now this is actually a direct swap from a straight orange liqueur. And this is what gives it its blue color, but you wanna use the same amount of one ounce or 30 milliliters. I love a blue cocktail, you just can't go wrong. So what we're gonna do next is add a little bit of ice. And you just wanna fill your glass most of the way and shake it for a good 10 to 15 seconds. So make sure that you've got a good seal on your lid like so, give it a slight bang, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand uh, shots of blue curacao. Put that off to the side, and now what you're going to do is grab yourself a coupe glass. But we need to add our next ingredient. And for that, we need a little bit of absinthe. So what we'll do is we will just pour a little bit in and then coat the inside of the glass. Now that you've completed that step, what you wanna do is just pour the remaining back into the bottle because Absinthe is expensive where you live. Well, maybe it is, maybe it's not, but it is where I live. Having said that, grab your Hawthorne strainer and your fine strainer and we'll just double strain the contents in. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now take your lemon peel that you've uh, cleaned off and just express the oils over the top, rub it around the top and then just drop it in like so. And here you have a Corpse Reviver number blue. Immediately you get those lemon hints and you get the orange hints. Oh, so good. You don't get that gin, but you get a little bit of the wine. You get a little bit of the absence. You get those strong orange notes. It is an excellent variation of the Corpse Reviver number two. If you like this style of cocktail, I'll put one up here for you.